the next thing we want to do is remove the plastic housing that's around the cylinder head and the cylinder jug. So you're going to have two bolts, one's right here, right next to the sprocket, and one's right here. So uh, this one you can pretty much only get to with a ratchet, so that's what you do. And once you remove those bolts, they should separate, and the top will come out, and the bottom will come out. Now the bottom takes a little bit of work typically, but in this case we're okay. Okay, we're going to take these, we're going to set them off to the side, and there's also a rubber gasket around here. Um, just be gentle, if yours is in good shape. Just gently take it off because uh, not all big bore kits come with one of these so if you can keep it in good shape that's a bonus. Right. So right here we have our spring tensioner. Um, you can do this at any point but uh, I just like to get it out of the way and get it done. So we want to crack that bolt. And cracked it has. All right, so here's the here's why I'm doing that. You all you have to do is take off these two bolts, and then your tension is released. But if you wait to crack this bolt until it's already off of the motor, then it's very hard to hold that tiny piece and crack something that's pretty tight from the factory. So right. I like the to crack it right to away. Next step to do is to remove the rocker assembly. So. We're going to go ahead and remove these. I don't know if it makes a difference, but this holds the entire unit right here, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I like to take them off in a star pattern so that it preserves any gaskets or anything like that. So I'm going to do this one, this one, this one, this one, and at least when I loosen it. And I don't know, it's just an old, old I can't help it kind of thing. We're going to go ahead and remove all these nuts. And there's a washer, a nut and a washer on every one. So we're going to make sure we have those all the way around. They're all the same size, so there's nothing to worry about there. Now that we've gotten all four of those, we can move on. All we have to do is pull the rocker assembly out, give it a couple little shakes. Um, I always recommend taking a picture of every step as you're taking out, because right here it's easy to know which way it goes. Here's an upside down F, upside down S, upside down E, upside down X. If I had a picture of this, when it comes time to reassemble, I can instantly go back to that and make sure that that's how it is. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pull it out now that we've documented the way it was in there. And I'm, I want you to be gentle taking it out, and here's why. Underneath that rocker assembly, there's two spacers. There's going to be one on this top corner here and one on the bottom corner here. And those, if you can get them with your fingers, those are going to need to come out too. Okay, at this point, we can see our camshaft and our chain. So now is when we take off that spring tensioner. Right now that spring is under tension, so there's no way we're going to get it off of there. So we're going to go ahead and pull this tensioner off now. And if you don't have a, if you don't have a driver like I do, you know, that's fine. Just use hand tools and, uh, you know, they'll get you by just the same. These things are usually on there pretty good, so remember it's cast or aluminum, so just be gentle with it. Give it a couple taps till it loosens. I'll pull it out. There's a gasket in there, and that's what it looks like. And it's under spring tension, so so that's why we remove that. I'm gonna leave that gasket on there. Um, it doesn't 
really matter right now because I'm going to put a new gasket on there. So now that that's loose, we're going to go ahead and remove our chain. Again, I double and triple checked that we're on top dead center, meaning the top hole was on the, the top and the two small holes were lined up with the lip. So now that I know that that's all kosher, we're going to go ahead and work on removing this chain. As you do this, be very careful not to drop this chain down the jug. If you drop the chain down the jug, it's going to go to the bottom of your case and you are not going to be happy about it. It's going to be extra work for you. So I'm going to move you over here so you can see better what I'm doing. So I'm holding the chain in my hand. Now there's also a bottom guide down here that we're going to take out later. Okay. So I'm going to lay that carefully, that chain. I'm going to lay it carefully so it won't slide in there. At this point, we have two more bolts to take out and that's This one right here, I'm trying to get you there, not a lot of room in here, and one down there. So we want to take off these two that are on the side of the cylinder head. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And you can hang out with me while I do it. Alright, those are removed. They're going to be longer bolts, so you'll always remember where they go. So we'll set those off to the side here. And at this point, we're ready to take off our cylinder head. So, we make sure you have a good view of what I'm doing. 